Hey YouTube, let's do a shrimp update. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, this is Brian here. I'm coming at you today with an update for July 2017 on all my shrimp tanks. I uh, will just go through and I'll tell you what's been going on, take a look at them and all that type of thing. Um, we're going to start off here with my PRL tank. As you can see, um, a lot of nice adults doing well. Um, there's been some uh, breeding, uh, there's been some babies that I've seen from time to time in there. Um, but overall they're doing decent. Um, if you are looking to buy any PRLs, uh, I do have these for sale. Um, shoot me an email. Uh, my email will be in the description below and uh, we can um, talk about it. Next door is the um, kind of mix, crystal red, golden bee, white, whatever you want to call them, whites that came from crystal reds. This tank has had its ups and downs a lot lately. I've had a lot of adult deaths, but I've also had births. As you can see, there's some babies that are growing up to be fairly decent size. I'd almost consider them juvies at this point. Um, I'm not sure what, but every few days for a couple of weeks, I'd have one or two die. Now that's kind of subsided. Keep my fingers crossed on that. But uh, hopefully we can rebuild this colony because it was really taking off and starting to turn into a, a really decent looking colony. Uh, next door here is the uh, Black Pinto slash Thai B tank slash a couple other things. Um, they're doing good. There was a berry black tie bee. I haven't seen any babies from it yet. Or excuse me, there was a berry pinto, black pinto. I haven't seen any babies from it yet. I can't seem to find the buried one right now. Sometimes the video catches it more though than my eyes. There were some baby tie bees in here. I haven't really seen them too much lately, so I'm not sure if they've died off or if they're hiding. And then there's a couple new juvie not new but there's a couple juvie tie bees in here that kind of were stragglers from um, when they bred one time before that so anyway that's that tank a couple aura blues in there as well here's the uh, basic uh, low grade crystal reds which <laughs> I don't know why but these guys I just I love these shrimp they're kind of my first my first major accomplishment in shrimp keeping as far as really getting a, a, um, a line of shrimp to breed. And they've just bred like crazy for me over the last couple of years. And uh, even though they're considered lower grade, I really like the, the color of them, the white and the red, the, where there's proportional kind of coloring versus, you know, a higher grade crystal red has less red and more white. That's cool looking too, but just always like these. and. I've always got these available for sale too if anyone's looking to buy them. Pretty good pricing on it. You know, shoot me an email if you're interested. Uh, over here is the Super Crystal Red tank. I'm trying to move a couple things around here, sorry. Um, pretty happy here. We've got some babies. There's one. Uh, there's another one over here. hard to find them all there's one see if we can get that oh there's algae on the glass that's what the blurriness is but anyway there's a nice molt too um so yeah um there we go another buried female nice um, so yeah, these guys are doing good. Um, some of them have grown into pretty much adult size, so that's cool. I've lost a few since I got them. Here's another baby right next to this mineral ball or whatever you call it. But yeah, um, I'm excited that I've been able to breed these successfully, so we'll hope that they grow out and we can increase this colony. At some point down the road, I have some available for you guys. There's some more of the babies over on the glass. Shrimplets. Uh, this tank down here is doing real well. 
Taiwan B mix tank. Not much to say about it other than it's continuing to maintain and do well. I pulled out a few um, wine reds and a few, uh, a couple of uh, whites that, well, they came from the red bolts, but they didn't have any red in them. And a couple of whites from over on this tank up here and started another tank, which I'll show you here momentarily. But yeah, these guys are doing real well. Head over to this rack here. So here's uh, the tank that I put the whites in. There's two of them right up front. They're still kind of getting acclimated. I just put, when I move tank, shrimp into a new tank within my shrimp room, if at all possible, I just do a couple at first just to make sure, even though I test all the parameters, just to make sure everything's okay. If they die off right away, then I know something's up. So um, they're doing good, so I'm gonna pull some more and add to this tank and hopefully it can kind of grow out a nice white colony in here. Uh, the red pintos above doing real good sorry about that i just dropped a piece of driftwood that i bumped off the shelf um, have not seen any babies yet um, there's been a couple times where it's been kind of hard to tell but i think i found some buried females and then i'm not too sure and then i lose track of them in the tank Let's see if we can get some close-up action here on some of these guys or girls That one might, no, I don't think it is. I was going to say that one might be buried, but I don't think it is. Um, but yeah, this colony is doing real great. Um, one of my favorite colonies right now, actually. Kind of a mix of the different, uh, you know, spotted heads and, um, what do you call it, zebras, I guess. Blue Dreams up here, they're doing good. Wish these guys would breed more than they do, but they breed some, but I just, the colony just doesn't seem to start, I would have hoped by now that this would have, this colony really would have grown, and I'd have a ton of them in here. Um, don't get me wrong, there's a lot, but not as many as I thought there would be by now. But I'm gonna continue to work on this and see what happens. Just the other day I noticed a few buried females in here, so. I don't know if you can see them right now through the camera or not. Kind of hard to tell because they're all gathered together. This is the Savage Reds. These guys are slowly but surely doing good. I'm going to have to do some calling pretty soon in here just to kind of try to keep this line true. There's a couple up here. Royal Blue Tigers, just don't know what's going on with them. You know, there was, uh, they bred, there was a couple of different batches of uh, babies a few months ago uh, that came out a couple different times, and nothing seemed to ever materialize. This colony just seems to have gone stagnant, so I don't know if I should move them, do something different, put them in a different tank, try to start like a second colony maybe. If anyone has any thoughts, let me know. But it's just, you know, there used to be hundreds in here, and I was selling them left and right, and they just continued to breed. And, and maybe that's the problem. Maybe I was pulling too much, and that's kind of caused the colony just to go stagnant. I don't know. But the ones that are still here are looking good, and I really love these shrimp. I mean, this is one of my favorite uh, lines of shrimp, so... Down here is the kind of mixed red tank. Um, I say mixed, but to be honest with you, most of them are pretty pretty nice, a little bit higher end, fire red, painted fire red, Sakura, what do you want to say? Um, some of them are just your basic cherries, but at some point when I have another tank going, I'm going to call out um, the lower grade stuff and just have one high grade tank. I just ran out of room, kind of what I was doing, so... Crystal Blacks right here below. Same story with them. They're not dying off or anything, but they're just not breeding a whole lot. From time to time, I'll find babies in there, but just 
not as much as I'd like. I don't know what the deal is. I've had I had success with Crystal Blacks, the higher grade, at one point a few years ago. They bred like crazy for me, and then since then I've just never really had to been able to have a ton of success with growing a Crystal Black colony. So that's not going to stop me from trying. So anyway, oh, upstairs. Got a couple things to show you up here before we stop the video. Um, I've got a couple tanks going again. First is a Blue Bolt tank. You can see um, I've got about, started with about 20. I think I'm down to about 17, which is fine. But they're, they've grown nicely. They're all about the adult size and they really have been doing the quote unquote dance a lot lately. So I think they're really, they've, there's been some breeding going on, so that's cool. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on there. And then over here, this is where I put two wine reds from my mixed tank, just seeing um, how good they do, and they're doing real good. They've been in there for at least a week, maybe two. So I'm gonna add more to this tank as well. There's still some cherries left in this mess up here. I talked about this in my fish room tour video, so I won't spend any time here. And this tank is also a mess. It's gonna be taken down and probably made into a cherry cull tank. All right, YouTube, so that's all I've got right now. Um, stay tuned for further updates on my shrimp tanks. I also do regular fish, fish room updates on all my cichlids, and then I do stuff with my two saltwater tanks as well. So stay tuned for all those videos. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe so that you can be kept updated on those. I wanna um, tell all my subscribers how much I appreciate you guys too. Um, been really cool over the last several years uh, watching this channel grow and people being interactive with it so um at that i'll let you go until next time thanks